the next letter in a SMART goal, after specific S, is M for measurable, right? It's like a ruler. You're trying to measure your goal, right? You need to be able to know exactly whether or not you achieved your goal because it has some numbers in it that make it measurable. So, for example, an amount, a quantity, how often you're going to do something, how many of something, right? Really think about is if you don't have any numbers in your uh, goal, then you probably aren't making it measurable. So here's a non-example. I will improve in push-ups. Okay, I will do more push-ups. None of that is measurable. I don't know what you mean by that, right? More could be one push-up. It could be 300 push-ups. So a way to make that more measurable is to stick some numbers in there. So I will improve by being able to do three more push-ups than I can do now. Okay, that's still not specific because I don't know how many you can do now. So better yet, I will be able to do 13 push-ups. Right? right now I can do 10 maybe. I'm going to be able to do 13. That's a way to make it measurable. All right? So get a number in there. How often, how many. Right? So maybe a way to get how often is I'm going to do one push-up every day. Perfect. That's telling you how often I can definitely know if you achieve that goal. Right? So now you're going to get a chance, go back to your goal that you set earlier, and make sure that it's measurable now.